Obviously, super PACs have been burning up the airwaves now for weeks, focused on the Senate race between Kelly Ayotte and Maggie Hassan. But starting tomorrow, a new ad by Hassan's Senate campaign, her first ad, will strip away the armor of politics and show a side of Hassan that not everyone is familiar with. All families have challenges. What's really important is that they also have community. It's a first-person narrative effectively told not by a candidate, but by the mother of a child with special needs. 20 or 30 years earlier, we would have been pressured to put him in an institution. It centers on Hassan's son, Ben, born with cerebral palsy. And over the course of a minute, it illustrates how community helped Hassan overcome fears and lit a fire of inspiration. That's one of the reasons I got involved in public service, because it made it so clear to me how much you can accomplish when you work together. My mom and I love shooting hoops. Earlier this year, Kelly Ayotte launched her first ad with the help of her 11-year-old daughter, Kate, who describes the incumbent senator and former attorney general as a mom who helps with homework while setting an example at home. And she's taught me that with hard work, I can do anything. I'm Kelly Ayotte. And I'm Kate. And, and we, we approve, approve this message. message. Both ads provide a softer angle of the people now embroiled in what is already an increasingly bitter Senate race. I think the next thing we'll probably see will be about their records. The candidates are going to stay positive as much as they can. And that's because super PACs, despite the bad rap, can be left to do the dirty work. Either way, there will be plenty of all of it. To the degree that people are paying attention, that's not going to matter. Millions are going to be spent, and we could be in the $50 million range by the time uh, November rolls around. All right, as for the Maggie Hassan ad, it starts running tomorrow once again in the New Hampshire and Boston markets and will be on the air for a while, too, it seems, as her campaign confirms that the initial buy is in the range of the mid-six figures. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.